Free checking in and I'm back with another video. So tonight I'm in a bit I'm on a I'm not gonna say I'm on a bit of a time schedule, but I'm a little pressed for time as far as cooking goes because I all right let me let me start from the beginning let me start from the beginning so this video is going to be posted well after the day that I recorded it just because I have I don't even know how many other videos that I've already done and have not edited and that has to go up before this one goes up but today is New Year's Eve okay New Year's Eve every year I like to go to church to bring in my new year. So, church starts at 10 o'clock. I have to leave here by 9 if I want a good seat. 9.15 at the latest. It takes about 30 minutes to get there depending on traffic. And where I live, regardless of which direction I go, there's always a slow dropper tell you no lie but anyways now I'm about to cook something that I have not cooked before and on top of that the one seasoning that I really like to use on my food I don't have I ran out of it last night when I made homemade chicken tenders and I'm screwed for right now so I'm gonna just have to work with what I have improvise go with the flow and hope it works out good so tonight what's on the menu is can y'all see this it's cornish hen okay cornish hen i know y'all probably seen those dishes in the sink i gotta wash dishes again so don't trip about that that'll get washed during the during this video at some point you ain't gonna see that don't worry but anyways i'm about to make some cornish hen Oh, shucks. One of my favorite YouTubers, well, just posted, and I actually want to see that video. But anyways, that's going to have to wait. I need to get the, these hens in the oven ASAP. I was initially only going to cook one, but I don't know. I mean, a lot of people, I've heard this. It could be an old wise tale or whatever the case may be, but I believe it. They say you're not supposed to do two things on New Year's, wash and cook. I'm in the middle of doing laundry right now as we speak. My load is in the um, dryer right now. I actually went and did that before I started this video. So by the time I finish this video or before I finish it, those clothes will be done. And before I go to church, it'll be done. Y'all, my face is breaking out. Oh my gosh. I did one mask. I need to do my other one. But, um... What I'm cooking with this Cornish hen, not completely sure. I think I'm going to just wing it, see what happens. Um, I ran out of seasoned salt last night, so I'm using regu regular salt today. <sighs> and we just going to see how this go. I really want to slow cook my chicken. I don't want it to rush. So hopefully I can finish this chicken in two hours. Fingers crossed. So... Let me stop talking and go ahead and jump into this video and get these chickens in the oven. Oh, I got sidetracked. Yeah, I was only going to cook one of the Cornish hens and save the other one for later. But to make sure that I don't have to do any cooking tomorrow, I'm going to just cook both. And whatever leftovers are left will get thrown in the microwave. Because I wasn't going to worry about it and I was just going to do burgers and fries if we got hungry tomorrow. But I'm pretty sure... Even though they're already pre-made, putting them in the oven, my count is cooking. So, I don't even want to test it. I don't want no bad luck. I don't want no bad jujus. So, I ain't even going to worry about it. So, anyways, let me wash my hands and get started on this chicken. Alright, y'all. Like I said, don't worry about these dishes. Usually, I get my dishes out of the way before I start the video. But, today, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to wash them in the, when I take a break from the video. So... Wash my hands. Now, I've never cooked this before. 
And when I was talking on the phone with my mom the day that I got them, she was explaining to me how I'm supposed to clean it. And y'all, let me just say, it did not sound like something that I'm looking forward to doing. So, we gonna see. I mean, I cooked ribs one video. Wasn't really feeling it. They felt disgusting. And then I did steak one video. That felt disgusting. Usually, cleaning meat don't bother me. But man, oh man. Some stuff just don't feel right. And the stuff that my mama was telling me, she was saying something about cleaning some stuff out the inside of these chickens. Now, I cut off fat off chickens. I've taken off wings off chickens. But she was talking about stuff that's on a whole nother level. That's a little deeper, a lot deeper than wings and I mean than feathers and fat so I mean I'm usually not one for a weak stomach but Lord be with me and my stomach oh man it's gonna be rough y'all this is gonna be rough oh my 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 oh my my Y'all, I have never, ever cleaned a whole chicken before, y'all. I've never dealt with a whole chicken that wasn't already cooked. Oh, my. Look at it, y'all. Oh, my. Oh, my, my. This might get real nasty. real nasty <laughs> real quick all right that's one chicken open chicken number two let's get you out of the package oh man it's oh oh lord y'all these chickens got a little package in it I'm scared of what I'm gonna find when I'm gonna pull out this chicken. When I say a little package, I literally mean a little package. Like there is something inside these little hens that is literally, literally in a little package. Like, do you see this? Oh my. I don't wanna do this, y'all. I don't wanna do this. Is it too late to turn back? Man, I think it is. Oh my gosh. Okay. I didn't see that in the first one. That don't mean it ain't there. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. The feeling of this. Oh my lances. Oh gosh. Like, it ain't really that it feels disgusting, but I feel so much fat on it. And, like, I, it's like I could, like, just think about what I'm touching. It's just not cool, y'all. It's not cool. And these chickens are actually kind of still frozen and then the little package inside is frozen and it's just bad all around y'all bad all around give me a minute all right y'all so i'm back so i had to defrost my chicken okay because i could not get these little baggies outside of the middle of this chicken that was holding me up and oh my god is it is it? 
Never mind. Okay. So, yeah. I was looking at time. It threw me off. Okay. So, when I said it was little baggies, they were literally little baggies inside of the chickens. Okay. So, now that I got those out, I can finish cleaning my chicken, seasoning it, and get it in this oven, y'all. So, I found out church does not start at 10. Church starts starts at 9. So that's, now I'm even shorter on time to get this chicken finished. <sighs> Y'all bear with me. This video, I'm going to move, everything's going to be pretty quick in this video. So like, hold on, let me get y'all set up. Like I said, everything is about to move really quick from this point on. Because now I have an hour less than I thought I had to cook. Which is not good. So, these are my chickens, all nice and seasoned. I use the basics with the seasoning, just salt, pepper, and I use some mustard on it. Um, I don't know if it's seasoned enough. I hope it is. If it's not, so be it. I didn't want to put too much salt and it be salty, but anyways, it is what it is. So, what y'all are going to get the chance to see, though, is me cut up these... Um, bell peppers and onions to go around it and I'm gonna put a little bit of water in the pan and then get these bad boys in the oven so yeah all right so I'm gonna sit y'all down let y'all get a view of what's going on okay I have my bell pepper I had already cut it I'm just cleaning out the inside now. All right, so I'm gonna cut this up. I'm, I'm thinking about putting the and the whole thing, cutting up the whole bell pepper and putting it in here, just because it gives it a little bit more flavor. It gives the food a little bit more flavor. And I mean. These bell peppers ain't getting used. They're just sitting in my fridge, so. And I do already have my oven on. I put it on 400, so it's preheating. All right, here's the second one. Well, not the second one, but the second piece, the other half of it. And I also have an onion which is not in frame right now. But I have an onion that I'm gonna cut up too. All right, now I got my onion that I need to go peel. Let me cut this onion up. Oh. Lord, I'm slinging onions everywhere. I need to go get this load of clothes out, but I'm gonna have to wait because I don't want to leave while this oven is on. So the clothes that's in there just gonna have to sit in there. My eyes are burning. Oh man, I can only hold up on one eye. Uh oh. Oh, wait, pause. Before I open that, let me put some water in here. All right. Don't know if you could tell, but I added, probably won't be able to see it. I'm about to knock y'all over. Can you see the water in there? If not, just take my word for it that it's in there. Okay. Come down and put it in the oven. Okay. Now, that's going to cook for a while. So, therefore, I am going to um, 
just leave that in there and I'll get back to y'all when it's done. I'm not going to come back when I check on it like I usually do. I'll come back to y'all when it's done and my screen protector is coming off again. But I'll come back to y'all when it's done, when the chicken is almost done because then I'll be starting on my sides. So I'll check back with y'all in about an hour. Y'all, so I'm back with a check in. Quick check in. All right, so this is the chicken. This is how it's looking. It's good, right? Yeah. Hope it tastes good. It's a little. Did y'all fog up a little bit? That's better. Don't mind my hair. Y'all already know what the deal is. Anyways, I got my rice. I decided I'm going to do rice and beans for my sides. I got my water right here. That's going. I got my butter right here, which I'm about to add. Try to do like two tablespoons of butter. Alright, alright, alright. Alright. So I got that doing, that going. Let me try to do all this one handed because I don't really want to sit y'all down because it's not that much that's about to go down right now. Alright. So I put in four cups of water, so I need two cups of rice. Alright. Let's see how much this is. That's one cup. So I might as well put the rest of this rice. That should be about two cups of rice. Uh -huh. Oh man, that's not good. Um, y'all, this is not good. I have not even a one and a half cups of rice like and i already put the water in so i'm gonna have to pull a little bit of water out and i don't have any more rice oh man but i do have brown sugar though should i put like a glaze of brown sugar on the chicken Nah, that's, that's too much, that's too much. Um, I really wanna cook these though. I really wanna make these. What do I need? Vegetable oil. I don't have no more vegetable oil. I used the last of that last night. But I do have butter. I really want these, so I'm gonna do it. I love my blueberry muffins, y'all. I do. Oh, we got red beans. We don't have no pinto beans. All right, y'all. Coming back to the light. Coming back to the light. So I'm gonna have to pour a little bit of this water out because I do not have two cups of rice. So I pour some of that out. Add some more butter because I think I might have poured some of my butter off. Um, turn this oven off. Oh, wait. I don't need to turn the oven off. I need some more water in the oven. Um, that's what that smell is that I'm smelling. My pan has cooked all the water out of it. That's what that smell is. So, let me bring this out. So, yeah, because that chicken need to cook some more. You turn the oven back on, and I'm gonna pour this water in the pan. That's what happened. The water cooked up to it. Alright, 
All right. Uh, let me put some more. All right, y'all, my fault. My, I ran out of memory. I told y'all I got a lot of videos that still need to be put up that I've recorded and just haven't edited and uploaded. So that needs to get done. Turn this rice down. And in hindsight, I guess I do need to get my sand so I can sit y'all down. Because I'm actually about to make some muffins. Alright y'all, so the last time that I actually made muffins was the cornbread muffins. And I didn't make them. My sister-in-law helped me make them. So this is me actually making them on my own for the first time. So I hope they turn out good. Fingers crossed. <sighs> Let's try it. Alright, so this is a half a cup of. I don't have vegetable oil, y'all. I used all my vegetable oil last night. So that's a half a cup of butter. And then it needs two thirds cup of water. play it smart because I have limited memory right now uh, so I don't want to keep running out of memory and during this video I'm trying to finish it so this is my water and butter and then this is my grease muffin pan and then these are my rinse blueberries so next it says stir together water oil eggs oh yes two eggs in the butter and the um, water and muffin mix until blended gently stir in blueberries okay so let me grab a fork I'm gonna sit y'all right there hopefully y'all stay up first of all let me stir in the two eggs that's in here so I can go ahead and break those up alright and then let's go ahead and do this I'm supposed to use this whole thing it don't really specify so I'm gonna just mix it keep mixing them in mixing it in until it looks like it's enough all right y'all so I got my batter with my blueberries in it I didn't use all the batter and I didn't put all the blueberries in this batch of batter because I don't know how many the box don't really specify how much you're supposed to 
how much batter you're supposed to use if you only making 12 muffins so I'm gonna just go with this is enough I don't want to make too much and then have to waste it all um, and I don't want to use all the blueberries right now because I saved some of the batter so I want to have some left for when I make some more muffins so I'm gonna just go with what I have and I'm gonna come over here to my grease pan see if I can sift y'all down so you can see what I'm about to do I got my pan I think I have too much batter to be honest but I'm gonna just pour it I hope I have enough better. Alright, so it said like to make them a little sweet, you can sprinkle some sugar across the top before you bake it. I'm going to sprinkle some brown sugar across the top. Could you hand me those scissors? They're on top of the butter. Thank you. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna pour some of this in my hand and just sprinkle it that way. brown sugar over the top now I need to take this chicken out the oven so I can cook my muffins because the chicken is done all right the chicken is done chicken is out muffins go in muffins go in all righty this pan gonna have to soak but that's my chicken my rice is done my beans are cooking my muffins are in the oven and then I will be done cooking so now I'm gonna clean up my mess and I will come back to you when all the food is done all right y'all so after cooking for three hours almost four hours <laughs> almost four hours the food is finally done so I have rice I have Cornish hens I have muffins and I have um, red beans there you go alright so um, I'm not gonna do a taste test just because I'm tired and I hope these muffins turned out good if they didn't, I'll let you know. Oh wait, never mind. I got a test. A testy. I don't think they turned out right, but we're gonna see. How they taste? I was supposed to use vegetable oil, but I didn't have none, so I used butter. Real soft. They taste good. They fatty enough. Done all the way. Okay, so the muffins are going back in the oven. And, and so that's going to be it for this video. But they're good. They're just a little soft in the middle. Okay, they got to finish cooking. Yeah, All right. They're real soft. Okay, so that's it for this video. So until next time, this is your girl Truly Bree checking out, and I will catch you in the next video.